Crystal Allen from Eyes Like Mine Ink, and you are listening and tuning in to the Parker Daniel Show. I have some great information to share today. I'm really excited and pumped, and I'm coming to you from New Jersey. So keep listening in, keep um, supporting the Parker Daniel Show, and you can follow up with me at Eyes Like Mine Ink on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and even visit my website. Like Welcome to the Parker Daniel Show. My name is Anthony Parker. And uh, before I begin, I want you all to continue to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell so that you can up get updates on exciting stories such as the one that I'm about to bring to you today. <clears throat> Today's guest is Crystal. She's a native of New Jersey. She's a millennial entrepreneur and a non-profiteer, y'all. She is no stranger to work that involves community development, social change, and grassroots efforts. Crystal presently serves as a second-term AmeriCorps VISTA member with a nonprofit organization known as Girl Scouts Heart of New Jersey, where she works to develop volunteer programming and reuniting daughters in the Girl Scout uh, troops with their mothers who are incarcerated. Now, Crystal, I just said a tongue twister. And that's just the just the tip of the iceberg in terms of the things that you actually do. Now, no one can do it better but you. And that's why I'm going to turn the story over to you so you can tell everybody about the things that you do. Because you work hard. I don't even know how you're able to uh, do the things that you do. Let the people know about, you know, a little bit about your, uh, your, your, your vision. And then, you know, walk us through your life and, 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 and bring us up to date into what you are doing now. You have the floor, Crystal. I'm right. Thank you, Mr. Anthony Parker. It's the Parker Day and show for having me. I'm really excited for this opportunity. And I just want to say hello to all you listeners. Hello, hola, konnichiwa, all of that good stuff. Um, I am from Newark, New Jersey. And I am legally blind, going on 19 years this August. I have been... Uh, diagnosed with pseudotumor cerebri when I was 16 years old. It's a condition that mimics a brain tumor, which makes me symptomatic of a brain tumor. And it was due to a malpractice from a dermatologist that was treating me for my eczema. Eczema is a common skin condition that many children and adults face. But in my case, um, in under the treatment of the doctor, I was on 25 prescriptions by him to treat my skin, and seven out of the 25 contained a tetracycline, which um, interfered with the pseudotumor. It initiated the pseudotumor, and basically it's excessive fluid around the brain, the optic nerves, and spinal cord. Mm. All of us have that kind of fluid. It's called cerebral spinal fluid, and it controls the health of your brain and the balance of your body as well. Mm -hmm. They're all interconnected, and in my case, the uh, the levels of cerebral spinal fluid I built were increasingly high, uh, where the normal level is usually between 12 and 16. Mine would rise to 38, and if left untreated, pseudotumor can lead to seizures, which can lead to brain aneurysm, and possibly be fatal. Um, but, in spite of my vision loss, I feel that I have a renewed vision for how I see my life to be and the people that I connect with on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, hence connecting with Mr. Anthony Parker. And we all have a story to share about our journey through our vision loss. So with my renewed vision and my vision gained, I have been able to travel to Tokyo, Japan for my first abroad trip to meet 11 strangers who all had different disabilities to advocate for people with disabilities in Tokyo. And then I brought my advocacy back on home where in my city I uh, developed a nonprofit organization five years ago this month called I Like Mine Incorporated. It is a registered 501c3 nonprofit. And it was myself, um, a friend of mine, and my cousin started this organization together so that we can impact our community in Newark and around uh, Newark throughout the state of New Jersey and around the state of New Jersey. So we have a lot of exciting things going on. 
within our five years of work, and especially in this 2019. And, um, you know, we, we can use all of the support that we can get. That's why um, we're really excited to be on the Parker Daniels Show, because it's like we're intermingling the support. We support the Parker Daniels Show. Parker Daniels Show supports I Like Mine Inc. Okay. You said a mouthful. I hope they got all that. But I'm, I'm, I'm and and I am just still flabbergasted because man, you 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 are doing a lot. How do you find time to uh, to really get involved with all, all you know? Well, there's many projects that you're going to speak about. But how do you find time to uh, to spread your love to, to to the many projects that you that you're doing? Well, um, I believe that anyone makes time for whatever it is they want to make time for, and I'm very passionate about all of the projects that I'm attached to. Um, so I make the time. Okay. Yes, it is demanding as far as time management is concerned. But the end result is what makes everything worthwhile. Being able to empower my community, to empower myself, and to empower my peers and colleagues that I've met along the way is very rewarding to me. Okay. And sometimes it's hard to just be selfless. But if we had more people in this world who had that selfless way of thinking, I think that it would be helpful all around the board. Okay, that's definitely true. Now, look for the sake of uh, the 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 video and everything, because I know we can go on and on, and I'm gonna ask you about these uh, uh, different um, groups that you're in, that you are in. Give us the names of the many uh, groups and and and. and um, other organizations that you are affiliated with and briefly tell us about one, uh, them. Okay, well currently I am serving on four nonprofit boards um, that are outside of my own. One is Community Lifestyle Incorporated which is based in Union City and Hudson County areas and it's a youth development empowerment uh, nonprofit organization that was recently founded a few years back. And they do a lot of um, work to empower teens and youth to be self-sufficient and to have, um, to develop ideas on their ambitions outside of high school. Um, Art House Productions is another organization I'm connected with, which is located in Jersey City, New Jersey. I serve on their active committee, which my role helps with um, gaining accommodations for their performing arts program so that it can be inclusive for people with all kinds of disabilities. And I'm also a board member with the Young Nonprofit Professional Network of New Jersey, which is comprised of millennial um, nonprofit members who are all trying to impact our community in and around New Jersey. Um, and the other is uh, my organization, mm -hmm. I Guess My Inc., which I am the co-founder and currently the president, um, where we, our mission is to share awareness about the abilities and potential of individuals with vision loss, through community service initiatives, comprehensive empowerment workshops, and individual social change awareness events. And finally, I am currently serving with my second term as an AmeriCorps Vista member with the Girl Scout part of New Jersey, which is a uh, conglomerate of Girl Scouts USA mm -hmm. throughout the nation. And I helped to build two new programs that they have called Girl Scout Job Mars, uh, re reuniting our Girl Scout troop members with their mothers who are dealing with reentry, whether they're incarcerated or transitioning out of their current situation. The other one is called Juliet House which is a transitional housing program for the Girl Scouts who are either going through displacement, whether they are living in shelters, transitioning from a shelter to an apartment, and they just want to have that girl experience. So we help um, the shelter, the girls in the shelter um, have that experience of being a girl, a girl Scout to help with their growth and development. And how successful have those two programs been for the Girl Scouts? Girl? Uh, those, those programs are actually under several different chapters of Girl Scouts. So they are widespread. They're not just in New Jersey. And it's very impactful. It's crucial and critical to the growth and development of these girls who are in these particular situations because they might be seen as negative situations of their life. But when Girl Scouts step in, mm -hmm. it gives them that outlet that helps them see beyond 
the Central East Bay. Okay. Now, with these organizations that you create, are, are you uh, on the forefront, or you know, like most people, I'm gonna just create it and then let the ne let let the next man go out and, and you know in, 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 in the streets and make it happen, or in in the trenches. So you out there in the trenches, uh, along with everyone else. Oh, I'm definitely out in the trenches. Um, the main one that I hold the most leadership in is the Central East Bay organization, but the all of them as a whole, I play significant roles in each of these organizations, and they are all equally important to me. Mm. Now, now tell us about that since that's your baby. Tell us about the Eyes Like My uh, project. Uh, what, what you know, what what is what does it entail, and what kind of services y'all provide? And I heard y'all have like a, a a disability pageant. Expound on that also. Well, yeah. Um. So. With Eyes Like Mine, we have a few different stable programs that we try to share with our community so that whether it's the individual dealing with adjustments of vision loss or whoever they're connected to, we are a resource hub in this part of New Jersey that they can be connected to. And some of our stable programs is the Miss Blind Diva Empowerment Pageant, in which we are recruiting for this entire month of March because it is Women's History Month. And we are embedding ourselves in the fabric of women's history as the only pageant for women with vision loss in this entire state of New Jersey. This is our third annual pageant, and it's a great time. It's not just, a, it's definitely not a beauty pageant. It's an empowerment pageant. Mm -hmm. I emphasize that word because we, it's a fellowship. It lasts up to 16 weeks. It's comprised of various uh, facilitated seminars. Uh, through experts in different fields, such as public speaking, civic engagement, um, life coaching, model coaching, and daily life skills. Mm. Um, one of our hosts, she's actually from the Channel 9 Chasing the News. She's been our host for the past two years. Her name is Lisa Zerden. And we try to make sure that we also connect networking opportunities so that these women who are participating in our pageant they can leave with some of the skills they've acquired, mm. you know, once the the season is over. Okay. All of the women are between ages 18 to 40, and they either volunteer, work, self-employed, or attending a trade or educational setting. Mm. Because the importance is that we want to make sure that their abilities are highlighted. We don't need no pity party. We don't need nobody saying, oh, the poor blind people, the poor blind girls, because that's not what we're about. And we want to be definitely recognize for our abilities in spite of our ability uh, disability first mm -hmm. so um about the uh the the the, the, the disability pageant you um want to expound on that as well because i had caught you know one of that through one of the videos that you had and um it was pretty amazing so uh, t tell a little bit about that and also uh about the, the youtube project that you are working on so the pageant is the Miss Blind Diva Empowerment Pageant, and it is primarily for women with all levels of vision loss, from the most mild to the severest case. And um, to sign up for the pageant, we have one more in-person date that any woman can come to and uh, sign up to try to claim this year's title. That's going to be on Saturday, March 30th at the Vince Lombardi Center of Hope. 201 Bloomfield Avenue in North New Jersey from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. They can come in and learn more details about the full schedule of the pageant. Mm. And um, this year's winner has the opportunity to win the title for a year, be mm. crowned, receive the golden pageant sash, um, a dozen and a half roses, the Mildred C. Crump Award for the Miss Wine Diva pageant, who is the first Braille teacher in New Jersey who was African American, mm. um, and a five hundred dollar cash grant, so that they can apply to any success or any vision that they have um, mm. after the pageant. Um, we are also entering our concept for the pageant in the Holman Prize H O L M A N 2019 competition where by March 25th, we have to get likes on our videos, as many as we can. The most likes we get, the most thumbs up we get, the better our chances of uh, moving up to the top three. Mm -hmm. And if we do get to move to the top three, we'll have a shot at winning $25,000 towards our concept. 
and it will allow us to build more chapters of the empowerment package to help other women in the vision arts um, outside of New Jersey. Okay. Well, I wish y'all the best. I'm like, uh, I do have the links uh, that you send me where, I can, where I'll be able to put them in the description because I'm going to definitely share it because I think that, I mean, that's, you know, that's a really good thing that you all are doing. But man, this, like I said, this is just, you know, a, a tip of the iceberg in terms of the things that, that uh, Crystal is doing. And, you know, a lot of people think that because you're visually impaired or blind, you, you, you're not able to get out and do, and do the things and whatnot. You become pigeonholed and just do one thing. I'm impressed. I'm a totally blind person. And I mean, I do some things, but this, this is commendable. And, and, and for her, not because she's blind, but, but the fact that she's taking charge of her life and getting out and giving back. And, and I, you know, I, I really commend you on that. So as, as we wrap up, I mean, there's more that, 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 that you actually are, are doing. But, you know, for time constraints, you know what I'm saying, definitely, you know, we hopefully come back in the future and see what you're doing. But she also has a, a degree in so, social science, right? Yes. And you currently, right now, uh, are in college and, and working and getting, uh, what, uh, what is it, something dealing with leadership. Tell us about that. Well, actually, it's not a college program. It's a fellowship program also. It's called Leadership New York, and it's another nonprofit organization in my town that provides opportunities for aspiring leaders or existing leaders mm -hmm. in the city um, to learn about the ins and outs of the city and how we can uh, impact some of the things that's going on to help residents in this town live, you know, have a better quality of life. And mm -hmm. currently, I am the only one who is legally blind in the class of 2020, and I'm excited for this because many of the components related to this leadership program don't typically um, highlight the needs of the residents with disabilities here in North, mm -hmm. and I'm making it my duty to be able to have that inclusive environment okay. when we are doing our different seminars. Man. Man, I, I'm 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 proud of you. I haven't even met you, but I'm proud of the fact that you you know you you I mean what what's the next step? Being a president? <laughs> I don't know about all that. <laughs> but then you doing I mean you doing the president's work already, man. I, mean, I I really <laughs> think that's very commendable. So as we conclude, do you have any anything you, that you want to leave the people in terms of any type of motivational speeches to, to have them get up and get out and, 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 and make it happen as you I mean, not maybe like you, but, you know, become, you know, people who are not going to be, as I mentioned, pigeonhole, pigeonhole say, well, because I'm blind, I'm not going to do this. Give them some motivational, uh, 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 a little little something to uh, encourage them to make, you know, make make them think twice and, and know that Crystal is doing it. Then, hey, that's somebody that I can basically look up to. Well, oh, oh, I do feel like, you know, losing my vision is a continuous adjustment, you know, and... You need certain outlets to help you empower yourself and empower others. So I'll just leave with saying that um, you have to live this life we have. Don't just exist. Live it and live it to the best of your ability. And that is exactly what you are doing. Believe that. So um, what's what's basically what's next in terms of you know any ventures and stuff that you, that you have? Do you? Well, the next. The uh, goal that I have is we're working on um, launching our support groups, our monthly support groups to tie individuals with more resources, and we are also working on a project with our city to have our first employment fair for people with disabilities in the city, as we do understand the crisis and unemployment for people with disabilities as a whole, and we want to be a part of some of that solution, so that's something I look forward to for 2019 from Eyes Like Mind Inc. And I am currently going to be appearing on uh, Captivating Curve magazine for a uh, disabled model this month. Okay. All right. Well, man, I'm going to get you back up here in a couple of months and see how you're doing. And, and, and uh, I'm going to be checking on some of these uh, different um, programs that you're in and whatnot. And whatever else I can do for you, please hit me up. And with that being said, um, I want to thank my listeners again for tuning in and continue to subscribe, hit that like button, notification bell, and, get, and, and again, thank Crystal. Go check out her YouTube channel, which is about to uh, put in the description and whatnot, y'all. So, uh, Crystal, thanks again for tuning in to the Parker Daniels Show. Hey, so 
now that you've listened to all the information I have to share, I hope that it was uh, useful to you. But please remember to subscribe to the Parker Daniels Show on YouTube right here so that you can stay in tune with all of the amazing people who are connected to blindness and blindness resources. You never know, it could be you or someone you know that can use the information, use the inspiration. And let's continue to support Mr. Anthony Parker on his ventures with his show. And you can also follow up with me at eyeslikemind.org and you can follow my YouTube channel as well. Thank you.